Okay, so in today's video, we will be learning about how to divide a segment into n congruent segments, where n could be any integer value or positive integer. Uh, let's, for instance, take um, an n value to be equal to 3. Okay, so how do we split this segment into exactly three congruent segments? Okay, so in order to do this, the first step is to draw with the straight edge to draw a, a segment at some angle that is either above or below the line. Okay, so I'm picking a line that goes above like this. Okay, so after drawing this line, uh, we'll be taking our compass and we want to draw three arcs on this slanted line here, okay? So we want to adjust the width of the compass so that it can at least fit three times, okay? So it doesn't have to be exactly until the end of this line, so it doesn't really matter. So let's draw the arc. So first you draw the first arc, and then from this arc, we are going to draw another arc here, and then from this arc, we'll draw another arc, okay? So now we know for sure that these um, segments are all congruent, okay? So let's label these points now. So I'm going to call this point C. This is called point D. And this is called point E, okay? So at this point, what do we know so far? Well, we know that segment AE must be congruent to segment ED and congruent to segment DC, okay? So, and the reason is because, you know, radii of congruent circles are congruent. Okay, so let's write this down. Radii of congruent circles are congruent. Okay, so we actually just did this with the compass. So the next step is to connect point B and C, okay? So such that we form a triangle ABC. So our goal is to use the copy angle method. So we want to copy this angle here created by segment AC and BC. So basically we want to copy angle ACB over here to point D and to point E. Okay, so we want to draw lines that are parallel like this and like that. Okay, so let's do that. So in this case, we're gonna take the compass again and we already know how to copy angles at this point. So first we draw an arc, okay? And we will be keeping the same radius on the compass and draw another arc from point D, okay? And then another arc from point E, okay? So we have to make sure that the arc is big enough so that it goes through any parallel lines here. Okay, so the next step is to measure the distance between these two points here of the intersection of the arc and segments AC and BC. And, you know, once we measure the distance, we can then copy the angle, okay? So we already learned this. That's just simply the copy angle method, okay? So here we draw an arc. And then from this point, we draw another arc here, okay? Okay, wherever they intersect here, I will label this with a point. And what we want to do now is connect points D or point D with this point here, like that. And then we want to connect point E with this point like this, okay? And there you go, these lines now are all parallel, okay? So I'm going to label these points now. Let's label these points as um, F, G, and we have B already. And it turns out, that segment EF is congruent to segment FG and congruent to segment GB, okay? So these segments here will all be congruent. So these are congruent here. That's the given here because we discussed it here. And then these segments must be congruent as well. So why is this true? Why does this construction work? Okay. So the reason why it works is because um, since we copied the angles here, here we know that line 
So let's write this here. We know that um, line BC is parallel to line DG and parallel to line EF. Okay, why is that? Why are these lines all parallel? Well, the reason is because, um, you know, we can look at AC as the transversal. So we can say that if two or more lines are cut by a transversal and corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Okay, so now that we know that the lines are parallel, let's label them in the diagram. And now here's the reason. Why is it that these segments are congruent? What justifies this? So let me label the steps. So first we did this. This is step number two. Okay, I, I know I'm not writing things in, in order here, but it doesn't matter because now we're talking about step number three here, okay? So why is that true? Because there's actually a theorem that we have learned um, in this unit here. Basically, if we have uh, two or more lines, they cut off congruent segments in one transversal, then they cut off congruent segments in every transversal. And in order to see this better, you can actually turn the picture like this and say, you know what, that's the given. We know that this transversal is being cut by these lines that are parallel. Therefore, every transversal that we draw must, they have to have also congruent segments. So the reason for that will be the following. So let's write this in here. If, um, in this case, we have three parallel lines, or we can say if two or more parallel lines cut uh, congruent segments in one transversal, then they cut off then they cut or cut off, it doesn't matter, then they cut congruent segments in every transversal. Okay, and that's basically the reason, okay? So first of all, again, we made them congruent because of the compass rate of congruent circles are congruent. Second step, we made the lines parallel because we used the copy angle method. So basically, these are all the corresponding angles. They're congruent. Therefore, all the lines are parallel. And finally, if these segments are congruent and the lines are parallel, then these three parallel lines cut off congruent segments in every transversal. And that's basically it. Okay, so that's how you construct this. And that's how you justify this construction.